Hi, how's it going guys? I'm just about to install a XTM four wheel drive awning, two times 2.5 meter awning. I'm just gonna install it now and uh, we'll see how we go. Hi guys, just a quick video on how to install a four wheel drive awning to a vehicle with crossbars. Now crossbars normally have a T-channel, like the Mitsubishi factory ones on the Challenger, but also this applies to most other brands. Thule, Rhino, Pro Rack, Roller and Dekima all have the T-channel. Fitting an awning to any of these bars is easy, but you need the right hardware to mount the standard L-brackets that come with your awning's installation kit. But if you have the lighter aluminium crossbars that are most common now, you'll need T-bolts and nuts to fit into the T-channel. And as I said, they will suit most of the popular brands. They come in varying threads and varying heights, depending what accessory you're going to attach to your roof crossbars. In this case, I've bought M8 T-bolts, which are 28 mil high, and these are gonna be secured with wing nuts. They also come in M6 and can have nylock nuts instead of the wing nuts. So apart from the awning, if you want to anchor or mount pretty much anything to your roof crossbars, these T-bolts are a must. In this case, I had to drill out the L brackets that came with my awning to take the M8 T-bolts, but I could have used the M6s. They would have fitted without drilling, but I wanted a little extra strength for my awning. Anyway, let's start by mounting the L brackets to the vehicle. The first job is to remove the end cap. Now you can see the profile and the T-channel. Then slot in two T-bolts in the front bar and then do the same for the rear bar. I've decided to mount the L-brackets upside down. I think it will look better and be more functional. Plus it will keep the roof height down, but it's a personal choice. If you're taller, mounting the brackets upwards will give you more head height under the awning. Next, turn the awning over and fit two of the mounting bolts into the track at each end. These will be slotting into the L brackets when we fit the awning. Then lift the awning onto the roof of the vehicle and line up the bolts with the L brackets. Because I was working on my own, I rested the awning on top of the roof bars and then individually did each side. Then you can just finger tight the nylock nuts. All that's left now is to adjust the awning position to suit your vehicle. Then you can tighten the nylock nuts onto the bolts. This job's not hard, it's just a little bit fiddly if you're doing it on your own. So that's the finished product and I'm really happy with it. Maybe try and get the awning out, but I think it might be too windy. I'd just like to see it set up. But I'll give it a try, but if not, I'll do it the next time I'm out in the bush. Whenever that will be. set the awning up yeah without without guy ropes and uh, I can't put them on the driveway so I'll wait till I get out in the bush somewhere and try but it looks to me like everything's in there so I'll uh, test it next time I get out on the tracks which hopefully won't be too long um, so yeah so the, it's useful knowing about the t-bolts because then you can mount just about anything to your your roof bars although depending how far apart your roof bars are 
you're probably going to actually need some sort of tray on there. And those trays are a bit expensive, especially the aluminium ones. But um, yeah, I'm going to investigate that a bit further. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.